Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm back at you with another video, man. New media, notification game. God what? It's what it is, man. Look, check this out. Just want to do this quick little video. I know motherfuckers waiting for me to speak on some boxing shit, you know what I'm saying? But I haven't really had a little opinion on nothing going on in boxing right now, personally. But it's something that I do want to speak up on real quick that's been, like, irking me and bothering me and shit. And that's this masculine and feminine energy shit that I'm seeing all over of YouTube and social media and shit. And it's kind of got a little fraudulent aspect to it that people are pushing now. It's a like fraudulent narrative being pushed. And I have to shit on that. I got to put a stamp on that shit right here, right now, bro. Clear cut. We have this stigma on masculine energy, right? Where there are YouTubers, I don't know them by all by name, but a good percentage of them, y'all probably know them. They get on here and tell you that women are more attracted to men that, you know, do the whole no contact rule and, you know, when you focus on your purpose and all that shit. That's true. When you focus on your purpose and you focus on you and doing what you got to do, yeah, it's going to make her wonder because you ain't talking to her. You're too busy focusing on you to worry about anything else. That's true. But to say that masculine energy and to put it along the lines of men basically not giving a damn about another woman, that's not true. You don't, masculine energy does not mean you do not care. Okay, some people are like, well, woman like you when you don't give a damn, you don't like that. Okay, let me just give y'all some game. You cannot care and still be a beta male. You could be a hardcore dude, still be a beta, still got beta male tendencies. Okay, not giving a fuck don't make you an alpha male. Not caring don't make you an alpha male. That's where we be having the game fucked up and we allow these women fuck the game up because they want to believe that when we don't care, that's that's us being an alpha male. And that's not true. It's not true. Alpha male is a motherfucker that gets shit done, handles his business. Just because I care about you, that makes me less of an alpha because I actually show you affection and I give a shit. That's sometimes we get on this YouTube shit and we do not point where the accountability need to be. And as far as I'm concerned, the accountability of that goes on the woman. If I have to not give a fuck about you to not for you to give a fuck, what that say about you? Because there are women that want to do to show them that they care. There are women out here that want a man to show his affection and who he is as a man emotionally. Now that don't mean she wants you all in them motherfuckers, but she wants to know where you at emotionally. And you show her and then you go, go back to your manliness. You go back to your masculine energy. But when you stay in your feelings, your feelings, your feelings, your feelings, your feelings, that's feminine energy. You always in your feelings, your feelings, your feelings. And using very little logic. But to you females that's out here shitting on men because they want to be good to you, the dumbest shit y'all could ever tell a man is you too good for me, but then you get with this dude that ain't worth shit. And then the, another worst thing you could tell me is how good I am as a man. Any woman would be lucky to have me, but you the woman that I want. So if you the woman I want, but you're going to tell me to my face or, or however you tell me that a woman would be lucky to have me, but I want you to be that lucky woman. What that say about you? I don't want to hear she's not that interested. Da, 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 da. No, because most of the time, I ain't going to say all the time, but most of the time, when y'all cut that dude off, the dude that was actually caring about you, checking on you, wondering how your day was going, hey, let me go help you. Are you short for your lunch? Let me shoot you some. Shit that y'all saying is sipping is really a man being a fucking man. The man that really want to help you. The man that really want to be there for you, you saying he's simping. But the man that don't do shit for you, <laughs> he don't do nothing for you. <laughs> nothing. 
nigga won't won't even won't even buy you a snicker bar bitch he won't do nothing for you oh that's alpha male right there that's alpha he masculine he ain't in his feelings a real man can tell you how he feel and still operate in full masculine energy a real man will operate in full masculine energy and can tell you fully fully well how he feels and how he don't feel and not be ruled by them that's a masculine man see what y'all think is masculine you modern women is a man that don't show he don't show his feelings he don't cry he don't do y'all want a robot y'all don't want a man y'all don't want a human man because a human masculine man will tell you how he feel and he will still be operating in full masculinity the problem is you women don't respect men who are in tune with what they feel and is not afraid to tell you how they feel. Y'all demonize, y'all villainize men who really will tell you how they feel and where they stand. That's a man. And instead of you women being fair and being true to what a male, real man is because you never had one, you never seen one, you don't even know. It's funny how y'all women keep talking about a real man and masculine energy when half of y'all females don't even know what a real man or masculine energy really look like. Most of the shit that y'all might call masculine is actually toxic. To be real with you. But masculine energy does not mean, fellas, that you do not give a fuck about your woman. That's these toxic women making you believe that they need you to not give a fuck about them. That's just what it is. Because you could be the most manliest man. That don't mean you don't give a fuck about your woman. And that don't mean you ain't finna show her how much you care about her. The problem is a lot of you women really ain't shit. Just being real with you. A lot of you females, y'all just really not shit. Especially you modern women that get on this social media platforms. And y'all got all these niggas looking at y'all. Sending giving you likes and simping over you all in your DMs and all that. And the cold part about it is you not finna do nothing with none of these niggas. Let me tell you right now, fellas, if you in her DMs on Facebook, she probably not finna fuck with you. Most, most people, they do still like to meet in person. But now, all that Facebook, Instagram, DM and shit, now females are just looking at that as just an attention grab. It's an ego, ego thriller, ego thrill for them. That's all it does. It's just a trip for their ego. And that's all we doing for them now is catering to their egos. You feel me? These women don't want real good dudes. They want to be treated like shit because it validates them when they get on social media and talk bad about us. Because, let me tell you something, and I'm going to say this to you fellas too, because y'all do the shit too. The moment y'all actually get something good, you have to look at your bullshit. And then you got to start holding yourself accountable for the fuck shit you're doing. You got to actually look at the shit you're doing and actually realizing that what you're doing is wrong. That's why a lot of females don't want good dudes. Especially if she's dealing and she's in her whole phase. And she's acting like she wants a relationship. She's talking as if she wants a full relationship. But she got Tom, Dick, and Harry over here. She got you right here. But she got her other motherfucker she playing with on the side over there somewhere. And then the moment it gets too real with you, she pulls back. Because now she's afraid. Fellas, we do it all the time. We get with that good girl. She cooks, she cleans, she fucks, she sucks. She do all the shit that we, we, ain't, we ain't used to. What we do, we fuck it up. Because we don't, we don't know what that is. We like, hold up, damn, like. Like, like she gonna, I'm, I'm used to bitches being hoes and, and doing dirty shit and being foul. She really just go to work and come home. She ain't got no baby daddy drama. Like, she keep her baby daddy in check. Like, that nigga ain't coming with no funk because he know what kind of woman she is. She really gonna do for me? If I need a, if I need a lunch, I she'll go bring me lunch at work? Like, she, she really bout me? Like, I can't make the excuses that I used to. Now you got to look at you. The problem is why you don't got nothing good in your life. It's because when the good shit come and really is taking away all your excuses to do fuck shit. And you got to look at yourself. It hurt too much. 
Because now your excuse of this person finna play me, this person finna use me, this person finna abuse me. So now your justification is no longer valid. This person not finna use you. This person not finna play you. This person ain't gonna manipulate you. This person is not gonna use you. This person comes to give. And that's why y'all run for good from good shit. Because y'all so used to taking. And y'all so used to people taking from you. To where when somebody actually comes to give you something and it's genuine, you get scared. And instead of you looking at self, because that's the hardest thing for any human man or woman to do is look at self and say, I fucked up. This is where I was wrong. This is where I need to get better. I played that girl. I played that dude. That's why when I got with the girl or the guy that I wanted, that person played me because I played this person because I was in I was in my I was too busy being caught up in my pain. I was too busy being hurt to realize that I was hurting somebody else. So the reason why fellas, why y'all single, why y'all getting these shady females is because when you get that one female that's really about you or that will show you that she really rocks with you you get scared and you run away and it takes away any any excuses you can make to fuck it up you can't fuck she a good female she do for you she cook she clean she go to work she ain't talking to hell nick she ain't even on facebook or instagram she ain't on social media like that she's not trying to be seen like that she's not on here for likes like that all the excuses that you will use to justify you actually doing some whole shit you can't use no more so instead of you saying, let me leave that shit alone and be about this one person, you say, no, nah, man, this person going to make me accountable for me doing wrong. And I want to be wrong. So when I go get with somebody who's actually wrong, who actually will do me dirty, I can say, see, that's why I don't do this. See, that's why I don't do that. When in reality, bro, you pick that motherfucker knowing that they do that shit. And you stuck it out with that motherfucker, knowing they do that shit, so you could justify your fuck shit. So as long as I'm with somebody who ain't shit, as long as I'm with somebody who doing dirt and fuck shit, that's going to validate and justify my dirt, my fuck shit. Because you out here doing it. But you can't validate your fuck shit or your dirt when this motherfucker really for you. Really about you. And that's the problem. Y'all equate masculine energy with somebody who ain't for you, who don't do nothing for you, ain't even about you. The problem is, in this day and age, y'all don't even know what masculine energy really is. Y'all don't even know how to teach the shit. Y'all don't. Y'all the same ones on here, and now I'm talking about you YouTubers, that talk this life coach shit. Because I be watching y'all too. And y'all ain't teaching our black men how to do shit. Our black women are already fucked up enough from getting fucked and left. Now, let me say that again. Our women, not just our black women, our women are already fucked up in the head enough from us just fucking them and leaving them. And some of us are fucking them and leaving them with our children. And we wondering why they fucked up in the head. But you life coaches, you motherfuckers get on here and try to teach men how to get girls, how to sleep with them, Oh, man, you know, that's, that's the masculine energy, man. That's beta, man. That's why you didn't get the girl, man. Da, 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 da. You teaching them how to fuck women. But you ain't teaching them how to keep them. You teaching them how to date, how to get a girl on a date to put your dick in them. But you ain't teaching them how to keep these women. Ladies, you life coaches. Y'all teaching these females how to get in our pocket. Y'all teaching them how to get us, how to manipulate us to, so they can get what they want. But you ain't teaching these women how to keep us. You teaching them how to get us, use us, manipulate us, play us. But you ain't teaching them how to keep us. All y'all perpetuating the same bullshit cycle and expecting something different to fucking happen. Straight up. You male life coaches is teaching our men how to basically be hoes, but ain't teaching us how to be men. And y'all equating, y'all equating having sex with an abundance amount of women with masculine energy, which is false. 
Real talk, because all sex do is make babies. Sex does not make you a fucking man. Who you provide for, how you provide, what you do as a man for your family. That's what make you a fucking man. What you do for your children. Not having 20 bitches on motherfucking speed dial that you could just go put your dick in and possibly having more babies that you not finna fucking take care of. And now we got more damaged women out here because you just out here slanging dick and leaving your babies on a bitch. And we wondering why our women is fucked up today. Ladies, you got to bring more to the table than a pretty fucking face and some fucking pussy. If you ain't really handling, you ain't cooking, you ain't cleaning, you ain't really doing nothing to make that man feel your feminine energy. Because masculine men are attracted to feminine energy. So if you out here acting more of a man than a man, that's why he ain't fucking with you. That's why you ain't got no dude like that. Because you too busy acting more of a man than a man. You ain't finna act, you ain't finna be with a man that's acting more of a bitch than a bitch. So why are you finna expect a man to be with a woman who's acting more of a man than a man? It go both ways. Straight the fuck up. Y'all teaching our people wrong. Ladies, you teaching our women to be hoes. Straight up. Fellas, you teaching our, our men to use women, manipulate them. Y'all got, it's more videos on how, how to get laid or how to get her to want you than how to get her to keep you. This is how you get her to keep you. This is what you say. This is what you do. Y'all talking more about how to have sex with a woman than to teach a man about finances because they're not teaching finances in school. Y'all could talk about sex, but y'all can't talk about finances. How to be there for your kids. But y'all can show tell a man how to go get some pussy. And the cold part about it is you females be validating these dudes. Like, yep, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. And that's why you are a baby mama and nothing more. Because you rather teach men how to, they, they, I teach you how to get in between my legs. I will show you. I will give you the blueprint to how to fuck on abroad. But I ain't going to give you a blueprint of how to keep her, take care of her, praise her, show her her, show her her worth to you. Because you can never show somebody they worth to themselves. They have to see that themselves. But show her that she has a worth to you. Teach you that. Teach her that he has a worth to you. Teach her that. Teach her that chivalry isn't dead. There are good men out here that will open doors for you. Treat you like a lady when you are operating in your full feminine energy. Just like you dudes out here talking about oh, females don't submit. Females don't submit. No, they do. You just got to be that guy. And you female talking, I don't submit to no man. You ain't met, you ain't met a man yet. And I bet and any woman that says she don't submit to no man, watch how she act when she get around one. And I don't mean just anybody with a dick. I mean when she get around a real masculine man who really is masculine, watch how she act. Guess what she gonna do? She either gonna shut the fuck up or she's going to leave because she can't handle a real masculine man man because it makes her have to look at herself and really realize that it's not the man bitch it's you and a lot of us men included we like to blame the opposite success the opposite sex for why we do the fuck shit we do at the end of the day in closing at the end of the day you are in control of you not your girlfriend not your wife not your boyfriend not your baby mama not your baby daddy none of that you are in control of you so if you are treating somebody based on something somebody else did to you, that means that person has more control over you and your livelihood than you have over yourself. Because at the end of the day, if somebody hurts you and somebody did you dirty, man or a woman, this is not directed to just a man or a woman. It don't matter. If somebody did you dirty and instead of you taking the time to heal from that, and taking the time from healing does not always mean you just by yourself. No, actually feel the feeling. Feel the hurt. 
and actually take ownership in the part that you played and bringing some of that hurt on yourself. Because we, we all ain't innocent from a person hurting us because when a, a person already showed you what they'll do and when a person show you who they are the first time, believe them. Stop trying to, no, believe them. Real talk. Y'all got to cut this shit out. Real talk. Y'all got to stop psyching yourselves out when a person, no, I mean, no. No. Y'all got to be better. Y'all got to be better. And if you want better, then go get better. But stop trying to validate what you do because of what somebody else did to you. At the end of the day, that person, I'm not with that person no more. So if I'm not with that person no more, until I can fully, fully get over what happened in that relationship, there's no reason for me to, to go to the next. And stop, and ladies, stop saying that you're healed from a man in a relationship when you really not. You know, when you, and the only reason why you healed from, you claim that you healed from that relationship is because there is nobody in your immediate vicinity to test that theory. I'm healed. I ain't mad about this no more. Yeah, that's until Ray Ray and Pookie and them show up. That's until the next man show up. You feeling, you all listen until the next man come. You healed until the next man come. And then when he do something to remind you of that feeling all over again, then that emotion come back. So you not over it. You thought you was over it because you was by yourself. But you not really fully over it until that person come and really test that theory. Same thing for you, fellas. You had that baby with that chick. You wanted to have that baby. She had it. Da, da, da. Then you find out she's a whole ass bitch. She ain't worth nothing. She this, she that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then what do you do? You go to the next bitch. And then you dog her out and she might be the one. And you taking out your frustration out on her based on what somebody else did to you. And she might not deserve that. No, she don't deserve that from you. Because she ain't the motherfucker that did it to you. So instead of you kicking back, healing yourself, you want to take your frustration out on an innocent person. An innocent woman who might be for you. She might be all for you, cuz. But because you still hurt and you can't accept the love that she's giving you because eh, is you, you, you going to really do this for me? Or because the last chick gave you that type of love, but she still cut on you. So you comparing, well, the last bitch did this. Da, da, da. So if you feel like that, leave her alone. Leave her alone. Go kill yourself. Same thing with you, ladies. If 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 you with a dude and it's like, uh, and it's just leave him alone. Go heal yourself. Go heal yourself. But this, this masculine energy is because you don't, because a dude don't care type shit. No, they lying to you. All of them. Every last one. It is true that a woman, a woman likes you more when your feelings are unclear because it make her wonder. That's just the fucked up chemical balance of a woman. It's just what it is. But this whole little thing I've been seeing on YouTube that you know this masculine energy you got to not care and this that blah 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 no they lying i know i know the realest most masculine dude bro and that nigga got the biggest heart on me biggest heart i'm not afraid to tell you how you feel won't let you step on his toes but he'll let you know how he feels on any level you know what i'm saying but stop it Ladies, stop blaming men because you want to be a hoe. Fellas, stop blaming women because you want to be a dog. One.